Hey guys! So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite apps that I edit content with on my phone. Editing content on your phone makes it a lot easier to share data. I know if I'm editing something on my computer, I have to email it to myself anyway so I can have it on my phone. So it's just a lot simpler if you have editing software that you like and trust to edit your content professionally. Instagram has stepped up this game tremendously with high quality video and imagery. So along with that, we need some more apps to help edit our our photos and crap, right? Right. So we're gonna go over here to my photography. Ooh, ah, so pretty. So first off, we have, of course, the classic Visco Cam. Visco Cam is a classic because it's what all the hipsters use. If you want to be a stereotypical hipster, you're gonna use this one. Visco Cam is free to sign up and use. However, there are in-app purchases. If you want different looks, different filters, you should check them out. Next one to note is Layout. Layout is really cool because uh, Instagram supports it. It actually is by Instagram. It's basically a collage app and it's really cool if you want an artistic collage look for photos or if you just want to group all your friends in one photo and you don't have enough room in one photo. You can do different layouts for it, hence the name Layout. Oh my gosh, I know. Crazy. I just thought of it. The next one I'm going to talk about is Line Camera. Now Line Camera is an Asian photo editing app and I love it so much. It's just so cute. You can add stickers, you can add borders, you can crop the photos, and you can import straight to Instagram and it's super nice. What I like about Line Camera is that it does have unique filters. They're not like generic ones that people copy from Instagram. I'm gonna give this one a dreamy look. Ooh, ah, so pretty. There are in-app purchases for this app. You can get different packages for stickers and different filters, so keep that in mind. Next one we're gonna talk about is Boomerang. We've all seen these cute little repeating gifts and they're precious. And I made, oh yes, I remember this one. I made this one with my mom as us throwing coins into a fountain and it's so cute. So they're really easy to do, they're really fun to do. This one is one of my favorites because it's just so well done. It's just, it just turned out so well. So yeah. And last but not least is this app called Instagrid. Have you ever seen people do this with their Instagram profiles? That's what this app does and it's so lovely. So you take a photo and you can do three across, you can do six across, you can do nine across and it's so pretty. And then after you choose which one you want, you just press OK. And then the fun part comes. It tells you what order to post them in so that it'll show up correctly on your Instagram profile. Now the only thing with this is if you want no watermark in the first corner, you have to pay, I believe it's $3.99 for the full app. However, of course, I've found a way around this. You just take the original photo and you crop around the same area of that first block and you save it all to the camera roll right here. Now it's saved to the camera roll. You can post it without the watermark. It's pretty great. And besides all that, of course, the Adobe Creative Suite, you can get the apps on your phone and I really am enjoying them since I've downloaded them. So those are my photo editing apps. What are yours? Leave some comments down below and let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! That's, that's lipstick. That is lipstick right there. Those are my photo editing. <laughs> Those are my photo editing. Editing is a terrible word.